Okay, we've uh, taken 10 minutes out from uh, fishing just to basically go through and run through the rods and the gear that we've been using to uh, try and keep on top of these big powerful fish in the uh, Italian mighty River Po. Uh, Enrico, this is a new range of rods. Uh, right. Can you tell us about these rods please? Yeah. Uh, we made these rods uh, just looking at what is going on actually on the car fishing style all over Europe. Uh, especially talking with all our guys from, uh, you know, we have guys in our team from all over Europe. Mm -hmm. uh, we know more and more people is fishing and taking seriously uh, all the biggest European river. Italy, Spain, France, Germany, all Eastern Europe. There's plenty of river of this size. Yeah. Uh, you know, before most of the people were using spot rod, this kind of rod for fishing yeah. because you need to cast uh, very heavy leads and uh, big PVA bags most of the time with big stringers and of course because of that many people is, is using spot rod you you see we've been casting with 300 350 uh, grams less yeah, and big, big PVA bags or big stringers uh, so a spot rod can easily manage to cast it mm -hmm. but then when you fight the fish you know the spot rod will kill a bit the That's fight right, yeah. and also uh, the spot rod is not really uh, recommended because most of the time you fight quite short distance with really powerful fish yep. so you, you need a rod that help you so during it's forgiven, the fight. Yeah, forgive it, very excellent, forgiving in the middle excellent. tip section but it's right. got to it down in the bottom end of the section where it's yep. been reinforced hasn't it? Exactly. Yeah. Actually the, the, the old blank of this uh, tree model is, uh, is only 40 ton carbon and then we have a very long section of 3k woven carbon here yeah. in the bottom. So to stiffen it up a bit more. Yeah, yeah. And another key point I think of this rod, uh, you've been testing it for a week almost now, Yeah. Uh, even when you need to cast big 300, 350 gram lead, it's extremely easy to cast. It's it not, is, yeah. It's I not mean, something that broke your arm to cast. That's it. I mean, uh, Enrico's been using the 12, 12, 6 version in a four pound test curve. I've been using the 12 foot version in three and a half pound test curve. Now, Enrico, what's this geared up with? What, obviously, you've got a big pit reel on there. Right. Some uh, heavy duty It's, a, it's a 0 50 diameter is a monofilament. It's a okay. 36 pound uh, line, actually. And have you got a shock leader on there? No, no, no shock leader on this. Okay. We're only using the shock leader here because we had uh, the braided line, of course. Yeah. So it was the uh, 060. Is, uh, okay. And you've got a fluorocarbon leader on? Right. Just the fluorocarbon leader is a couple of meters at the end. Okay. Uh, right. Distance lead clip and some of the reptilian... 40, 45 pound reptilian coated hook link. Yeah. Which goes down to a size... Size 1 XC2 hook. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been using the 12 foot version. On this one, I've been using uh, the 45 pound braid. That's teamed up with a 60 pound bulldozer shock leader, which then comes down to a lead core leader about three foot long, again with a distance clip. I've been playing around with the new um, Gladio braided, uh, braided hook link, keeping the plastic coat on because it's really soft and yep. supple, this stuff. Um, and I'm using that in about 30 pound braking strain. Uh, and then we come on to the boat rods. Yeah, my, one, this is my very favorite one. Yeah, they are good, yeah, aren't they? Yeah. As you see, also the, the length of the handle is different in all of three rods. This is just to keep the, the test curve and uh, also the action okay. uh, as best as possible. What is really important to mention on the 9 foot 6, 3.5 pound version, you see the handle is extremely short. Yes. Uh, this is just because this rod is made to fish from the boat or in very tight swim. So normally you don't, you don't need to have a long handle to cast. These rods just need to be easy to handle. Yeah. Because if you fish from we the boat... We don't want to stick it behind you in the wide ear and catch it exactly, behind you on the boat. The, the normal handle is 15 centimeters longer yeah. than this. So can you imagine fishing from the boat That's or right. in a very tight stream and having yeah. such a long handle? Yeah. It would be a nightmare. Now, it has been, uh, it's all new to me, this boat fishing, um, but I've thoroughly enjoyed it. It has been really exciting. 